right under you. He literally just, oh, he got me. Okay, so if you take a look at these, this is uh, the reason there are rodents running around here. We've seen mice, haven't caught any, but we've seen them scampering around, and we've seen rats. It's called Bees. an acorn. Bees. Acorn. Do you know what eats acorns? Rats. Rats eat acorns. Yeah, there's an acorn. Huh? The rats and the squirrels and the mice they eat acorns. Uh -huh. Daddy. Hey, Daddy. What? Look. And monkeys eat it. The monkeys eat it too? Yeah. You're silly. Where's there a monkey? In China. There's no monkeys in Utah. So this is what the little rodents around here eat. And um, normally, the there's a lot of cover for them. Or I shouldn't say a lot, but a, a, a reasonable amount of cover for them. But unfortunately, they just cut it down. Come take a look. Hey, Daddy, I get to put it on the so typically these bushes are like twice the height they are now and they're really thick. So I shouldn't say really thick, but they're sufficiently thick so that the rats and the mice have cover and can hide. So now with it being this sparse, I don't know what we're going to find today. They've cut this all down, so I'm not sure what we're going to find. Uh, they obviously could still burrow in the substrate, so maybe there'll be some burrows we can find or, or something like that. Where is it, Shuey? She looks like she's followed it. It wasn't here when I looked last. Did you see it move? I did not. Where is it, Shuni? Where's the mouse? Where is it? Last place I saw it was over here. I don't know if he'll do that again, but... That's so cool. That would take forever. <laughs> I don't even know that it's in there. I just saw him run back towards this crack. Shuni outside. Oh, I think he got it. He, nope. He lost it. It's still in there though. Shuni. Why'd he stop? It's right here though on this face of this rock. Oh, there it is. Oh. I don't know how it ended up behind me. Yeah, I don't either. Oh, I hit Yeah, this brush is definitely not in his advantage. He's way better in the open. that down before I can do anything. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> There's a reason we're worming in. You're okay. <laughs> you got it. Jeez, that took a lot of work. Okay, so we learned a few things today. Uh, number one, like I said, it, it appears the brush inhibits his ability to hunt. Um, it's, it's difficult for him to get up to speed and the, the, the little rodent have no problem getting up to speed so it puts him at a disadvantage another thing we learned today is that uh, we're not out 
it's too cold right now. We need to be out when it's warmer. It's mid 80s. I was hoping that would be warm enough, but obviously it's not. Um, it's supposed to be a bit warmer on Monday, so we're gonna try again. It'll be up in the 90s, and we'll see if that hopefully warms up enough. Now, you have to realize, even if the air temperature is 85, the ground temperature is quite a bit warmer, but I didn't bring my heat gun to see how warm. Um, obviously it needs to be warmer than it is today. It was my mistake by not bringing the heat gun. I could have took the temperature and, real, and you know, wrote down you know, the, the, the uh, climate so that I could remember, oh yeah, it's too cold, you need to do it when it's warmer. So anyway, it's gonna be a learning experience. Gotta keep the trial and error up till we get this figured out. So let's go pick up Raptor and head home.